dare you to try and eat all of my cuisine. Here for today's video, we're gonna be in Florida, a place called Hernando Beach, actually, basically. So now you might be curious as what well, let's just say this isn't our standard video. More or less, I was uh Tampa area, talked to somebody, and they said, Hey, I know a guy who wants to feed you, give you apparently all kinds of food. And I said, Interesting. And then anyway, the guy called me, his name was Brian. So we're heading to Brian's place, and that's literally the name of it, not just like Brian's house, but Brian's place, that's the restaurant. So, heading to Brian's place, to apparently, quote unquote, he said he wants to challenge me to eat all his food. I don't know what that's gonna be like. But now we're gonna have some fun, eat some food, let's go eat, see what Brian has to offer. And um, at that, that's pretty much it. So, Brian's place, seafood, Florida, apparently meat, steak. It's kind of a Latin Italian fusion, I believe. So, yeah, let's go see what it's all about. Let's go eat. Hi everybody, so here we are with all the food and with Chef Brian himself. It only makes sense that Brian's place has a Brian. So, Chef, I don't know, man, he said I might not be able to eat all this and I don't know if I could. This is a lot. Well, Joel, I'm just glad you answered my phone call when I called and I wanted to dare you to come and try and eat all I could prepare for you. Uh, and I didn't want to lose what Brian's place has to offer. So I wanted to be able to fill you up and to just to dare you to try and eat all of my cuisine, which, you know, I know not many people have, are familiar with Hernando Beach, but this is what Hernando Beach has to offer here at Brian's Place. And I will say, Hernando Beach, it's a beautiful area, man. Like, seriously, driving in here, I'm like, hot dang, right by the water and everything. So, obviously, we have little bits of Italian, a little bit of Latin, but walk me through what we all have here. Maybe we'll start with this one right up here. Joel, these are some of the appetizers that we feature at Brian's Place. This is our 12-hour mojo roasted pork with our guava cilantro barbecue sauce over our Tampa Cuban bread grilled. This is a crudo, so this is kind of a play on Italian words. Uh, crudo is raw in Italian. And this is gonna be a sashimi style yellowfin tuna, sliced thin with fresh avocado, a lime soy mojo, little fusion, yeah. little Latin, little Italian going on, uh, and a red chili puree on the side. Now this is also an app, right? This is this one is, of the... Yep, this is another one of our uh, appetizers. And these are tostones, which are green plantains. Uh, we fry them in the cups and then we fill them with an Asiago crab cream. Mm. Then up here we have, now this is one of the specials, right? Special yes, today? this is our feature. Uh, it's not always on the menu. Uh, we're showcasing local red snapper. Ooh. And I call this a Caribbean crust. Okay. So this is gonna be shaved coconut, cashews, pistachios, ground plantains Damn. over Spanish style yellow rice, roasted butternut squash, and a tomotillo salsa verde. Now, I'm sticking with the seafood, we have a lovely looking salmon right here. So we have our classic uh, crispy seared salmon. So this dish has actually been on our menu for 18 years. All right. So if I change anything, always my regular say, please keep the salmon the way you do it. Try to trip. Grouper? So this is actually our signature dish here at Brian's Place. Nice. Uh, this is lo local grouper, pan seared, done with platanos three way, plantains three different ways. And what you have here is a plantain crema, okay. plantain salsa, and then plantain crisp. Oh, cool. Served over our white sweet potato mash. Nice, right. so white sweet potato, what, what, what? So that's our play on words here. We're actually taking boñato, okay. which is a Cuban white sweet potato, okay. mixing it with russet. Oh, We're kind of coming up with our own version cool. of mashed potato. I like it. Now this. So this is a showstopper here. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is a blue crab in Asiago crusted Filet mignon, Damn. certified Angus beef. 
served over our mashed potato, Chianti charred onion, and a chipotle and agave aioli. Man, steak, onions, crab, that is a surf and turf all in one. That sounds that's, amazing. That's one of my favorites. Lovely. House salad up House here. House salad with a, a, one of our uh, plays. This is a garbanzo bean and craisin uh, salsa that we put on. on top of a mixed green salad. Love it. And, and this dish here has a cult following. The pork uh, chop. The stuffed pork chop. Okay. So uh, this is a stuffed pork chop. What our customers like is there's no real filler. It's just fresh spinach, locally made Italian sausage, sun-dried tomato, Parmesan cheese, wow. no breadcrumb. Hey, well at that, I think that's everything, but thanks for walking me through all that. This is a lot of stuff. These look very luscious, but uh, hey, I'm excited to get into it. So thank you, Chef. Appreciate hey, Chef. You got it. Enjoy eating. I, I dare you to try to finish all this because the, the challenge is out there. Okay, hey, well, uh, at that, guys, let's start here just momentarily. All right, everybody, so let's get rocking. I'm definitely excited. Where am I gonna start? Well, we gotta set an example for the kids. So let's start with these vet, the uh, salad back here. So really interesting, they kind of have a bit of a salsa on it with craisins, the uh, garbanzo beans. Mmm, tomato, nice and sweet. I like it. Spinach, it's good. Next, well, Ooh, let's go with this tuna. This lovely tuna app looks delicious right here. So the crudo. So now they said this is an orange kind of soy they got going on. The lovely flakes of that tuna here looks delicious. I love me some tuna. Mmm, oh man, mm. Yes, please. Ooh, let's try with this, uh, the rich of the avocado. One, the, like they said, that's lovely sweetness and orangey, orangey soy. Try a little spice in that. The combo. Guys, that's just a roll of lo lovely looking tuna. Hey, let me really smother that in all the hot, all the soy. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yes, please. Woo! And a little bit of that heat from that, uh, Pepper? Oh yeah, that was delicious. Mm. Let me get rid of that. Well, we're on the app, so might as well stick with that. Maybe try one of these uh, Moho Roasted Pork Crostinis. Ooh, got a bit of a, I think a buttered garlic breadish thing there. Lovely soft roasted pork, incredibly tender. That bread is fantastic too. And they have this like little bit of uh, barbecue sauce on it. And it's like a guava barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Which the sweetness and that buttered bread, the kind of like, kind of crustini on that crisp they got going on. Very good. This last one, I'm gonna smear in all that extra barbecue sauce on there. Lovely bit of that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Has this lovely zip, but almost a little tartness, kind of like guava. I really like that. It's a very impressive sauce. Next, while we're on the apps, let's try these tostones. So these things are basically fried plantain in a cup. So with cream, cheese, crab. See what it's all about. Oh my gosh! Talk about rich, man. That's a heavy item. So basically, what you got going on here? It's just crazy, creamy crab. The cheese. It's a very strong Asiago cheese flavor. Definitely lots of garlic in it. That was a good bite. It's very crispy, but these are not calorie free at all. I don't so, see the so, sauce they got on here. Mmm. A little sweetness in this, maybe. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of that guava sauce. Let's try the salmon. It's like a real classic. 
It's, you know, a crispy pan seared salmon. Got some green beans up in here. I like some green beans. Oh, that there. Let's get into that there. Oh, yeah. Crispy outside, tender inside. Definitely cooked perfectly. Yep, that is a good salmon, guys. I do like it. There's some kind of a yellow something there going on. Mmm, sweet. Ooh, hold on. Look at our menu. What is that? A roasted garlic mango sauce. Heck yeah. Very good. With a uh, you know baked potato, pretty straightforward, but nonetheless. Yeah, a little bit of herb on that. And the sweetness of that mango sauce really comes out there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the point. Like, so what I'm really impressed with the salmon is how like, it's cooked perfectly. Like, not overcooked, not undercooked. Very good. For the sake of it, I'll try the bite of the sauce, the mango, and the uh, salmon all together. I do that. I think that's a bit like creaminess texture. The mango has a little tartness on it. I like it. Good dish. These are heavy items. That's it. It's so rich. We're going to try this, uh, <laughs> this plantains in three ways. So we got a crispy. Like a potato chip. I'm going to try this grouper though, man. We got this really nice kind of pan sear on it. Seasonings up in there. Look at that, lovely looking flavors on that. I do like the looks of that. Love me some grouper. It said there's a plantain creme in there as well. Mm. Oh man. Try the salsa, this is the plantain salsa you said. Woo! Fresh, but rich. And that creme is like some winter spices. The grouper is a really nice meaty fish, if you're not familiar. And Flora is really unknown for it. It's a really heavy, white, meaty fish. Um, that's kind of the way to describe it. It's not very like strong. It's not like salmon or something that has a very strong, distinct flavor. It's just like a lovely, white, kind of meaty fish. It's really light. It's really simple. But it just works. Try the uh, mashed potatoes. Mmm. The white sweet potato. Oh, man. Buttery, salty. I'll try some of that crema. Mm, creamy. Woo! I do like the comp, like this is a really nice flavor combo though. And one thing I'll say for sure, with the sweetness, the sweetness of that salsa. Mm. Well, everything works. Like, this is coming right with the side side, you choose your sides. I think they're paired really well. All together, very good. That is the best way. Usually I like dishes kind of separate, like items separate on a dish. So I'd be like, you know, I'll eat the grouper first, then the potatoes and plantain, but I think it's actually best all together. I'm gonna try to recreate that bite. Hold on. There you go. Plantain. Whoop. Trying. Grouper. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm. So good. That's the way to do it. Get your grouper. Plantain. And potato. That combination. While I'm a seafood, might as well stick to it. So let's try this snapper. Let me just compliment how big of a piece that is. That is huge. With some roast sweet potatoes on a leaf of some sort and a Spanish rice. Try potatoes. Definitely that roasted flavor is very rich. There's some kind of oil or butter or something in there. Try the rice and the salsa verde down there. I mean, I definitely just salsa verde. Get a bit of a lime from it. And this rice is kind of like seasoned rice. But now I'm excited to try this fish. So coconut, pistachio. Oh yeah, look at that. We got the, uh, the uh, salsa verde on the bottom. I'll show you what it looks like on top. These are my hands, but look at that. Looking great. So snapper, again, a nice kind of white meaty fish. Sometimes a little more distinct flavor than, uh, than, than everything. So let's see what it's all about. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Wow. Hold on. I'm gonna put a little salt on it. All right, so what's really going on there, which is really unique. So I was expecting the coconut to really shine through, but the coconut, the pistachio, the way it goes through that fish, it's barely noticeable. Now, if you get a bite with that salsa verde on it, the salsa verde has a lot of lime in it. That's a strong flavor. And the tomatillo is very strong too. I like sweet potatoes though. They're good. And the rice, I like the rice with the salsa verde though. Let's try it all together. Yep. We're on to something. I think that's the key. That's what I'm getting. So let's try the rice, plantains, salsa, snapper. That's the bite right there, guys. When you get the combination, you get texture, kind of richness from the coconut, freshness from that salsa verde, definitely together. Yeah, definitely, that's what's up. Down to two, steak, pork chop. I think let's do the steak. So this is really unique. So a filet on a freaking roasted onion with kind of a blue crab, Asiago cheese on top. Ooh, yeah. I see why this is a challenge. These items are heavy. <clears throat> Excuse me. More compliments, just so heavy. Woo wee. So, Asiago cheese top, filet, more of the lovely mashed potato. Oh, that just kind of fell apart. Oh man, woo. Holy crap. You guys see that? That is pulled apart. Look how tender that steak looks. All right, let's try it just by itself. Mm. Definitely using a garlic butter, oil, or something, but it tastes like grill. Mm. That steak is cooked perfectly, though, guys. Absolutely perfect. I give them that. Everything tastes great all together. Let me just try to get this all together from the start. So I'm gonna grab some of this onion for the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna try it like that. Oh, yeah. Mm. All that cream. Mm. That cream on the bottom of the onion, mmm, it's a sweet onion, roasted, crispy, and again, they cooked it absolutely perfectly. As for medium rare, it is perfectly medium rare, like perfectly. Let me know how you like your steak cooked down below. But uh, let me try this, I gotta get a little bit of crab in there. Crab. Mmm, oh man, hot damn, that is good. Man, the sweetness of that onion is a nice finish off. Woo, that crab is freaking rich though, but man, whoa. All right, <coughs> this dish is heavy. This is rich, that is for sure. Now, I gotta say that steak, that tenderloin is like fork soft. Like I can rip it with a fork, which is the best, most beautiful thing ever. Like who doesn't like a good steak? Amazing quality steak. And I love me some roasted onion. You know that crab on top though, guys, that is like, it is a bite and a half. I'll put it that way, this is not low calorie, this is not calorie free. But I really do like the flavor of the crab with it. Again, super rich. It is an amazing steak. I'm like thoroughly impressed. Listen, sometimes I hear items or combinations Again, sometimes a bit of a purist. So when I heard this being like a steak topped with crab and cream and stuff, I was like, and cheese kind of really? Hell yeah, that is good. Try the potatoes out. Still good. So the flavor in that cream I'm getting, it's, it's chipotle. So it's a chipotle cream. It goes really well. But I'll try a bit of that onion. All the crab. Oh, that alone is amazing. Whew. But a bite, holy cream guys, holy rich, woo. Shout out that steak, and again, this comes from the purest of steak. Mm. Even with that chipotle cream, that steak is a die for. So I mean, hands down so far, that is my favorite dish. 10 out of 10, would recommend. All right, steak, or the pork chop, stuffed pork chop. Green beans. Good. Comes to the chef. Holy jumpers. Mashed potatoes. Still good. 
Ooh wee. I'll tell you one thing though, guys. I'm filling up. Man, oh, well, that was a juicy drip of pork chop. Look at that. So the pork chop, which is pork, was stuffed with pork. See what it's all about. Oh, it smells good. Ooh, smell that butter off it. Garlic butter. I'm trying to cut into this. Come on, let me show you. There you go, there's the layers. So spinach, pork, sausage, more pork. All right, big chunk of sausage, spinach, cheese, pork. Okay, same thing. Holy rich, woo! Definitely the flavors you're getting on that, you really get that, that sausage. The like Italian sausage kind of thing, and that cheese. Definitely the stronger flavors. Yeah, definitely the, uh, like the sausage is it's a very strong flavor. And that cheese, the amount of cheese in there is cheesy. If you like cheese, you'll like this. That is for sure. Hot oh, damn, but. Yeah, definitely the, uh, the pork chops cook nice. But cheese and sausage is definitely what you're tasting. It is good. And the pork chop, a nice sear on it. Woo! But man, guys, that is a, that is a rich item. Holy crap. Hot damn. Yeah, that is heavy, guys. Look at it. Let me show that inside again. That is just like crazy. I gotta give it to them though. It is, it is like just stuffed with stuffed with good stuff, but it's stuffed with everything, all of it. That's what this is. This is a flavor bomb. If you want cheese, sausage, this is a pocket of cheese and sausage. So pork, cheesy pork inside pork. All right. That fat on the cap was rendered really well. Mm. That was delicious. I gotta tell you there, buddy. This is nuts. Uh, this is way more food, way heavier than I expected. Uh, I mean, it's good, but. Mm. Oh! Woo! That was a bite of fat. Yeah, now these bites are straight pork chop. Mm. And that is a good pork chop. Yeah. Mm. Super soft and tender, right around the bone. They're just jiggly and succulent. Very good. Mm. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Actually, this is a really good pork chop. All right, everybody, that though, Woo. we are done. Holy crap, that was rich. That was heavy, but damn, that was good, guys. So yeah, Brian's place, guys, would recommend. Super, super, super cool area, right by the water. It's beautiful. There's so many kind of like beachy looking homes around here, but man, that was, it's a lot of food, everybody. That is so rich. So rich, so heavy, but. I want a huge thanks to the staff here. They've been very friendly. Thanks to Brian for calling me up. And uh, man, I don't know what I need. That's some heavy food. That is coma inducing food, but yeah. Anyway, I said thanks for everybody here. Definitely recommend stopping up by. Oh, guys, you have to try that freaking tenderloin. That tenderloin with the crab, the onion, the mashed potatoes, 10 out of 10. Amazing. Um, tuna was really nice as well. Great place to start. I was actually really impressed with the uh, the pork, the crostinis. At the beginning, the Cuban pork crostinis were fantastic. I really loved that. I think if I had to pick like an appetizer, I would probably do, oh, definitely do the salad. That was great. I love the, uh, the uh, salsa. i do a salad. I would do a, the pork, Cuban pork crostinis and that steak. Hands down, 10 out of 10. That steak is one of the best entrees I've had in a restaurant in an incredibly long time. So kudos to them. I know it's especially due here. And then I want to next time, of course, happy with hungry, happy eating. That's it. I've had enough food. So next time, have a good day. Everybody, the time has come. 
not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.